Now this is going to be quite a lengthy integral. We've got to integrate then e to 3x over 1 plus e to the x with respect to x using substitution. So we know it's going to be integration by substitution. The substitution they give us is to let u equal 1 plus e to the x. So what I'd want to do is just go over to the right here and uh, just draw a line down here and we'll put down that u equals 1 plus e to the x. So they give us that substitution. Just as a quick reminder, how do you do integration by substitution? Basically, if you've got to integrate some function of x with respect to x, it's going to be the same as the integral of f of x with respect to x, but what we add in is a du. Okay, It's as if these cancel out, so therefore, obviously, this will equal this. And what we do is we essentially try and change the integral into one other variable. In this case, it's going to be u. So how do we do it then? Okay. Well, we need to establish what dx by du is. So we can do that by starting to differentiate this. We can find out what du by dx is if we differentiate with respect to x first. So therefore, what we've got is du by dx is going to simply be e to the x. Now, because we want dx by du, we can invert this and we would end up with dx over du equals 1 over e to the x. Okay, so what we've got then, if we come over here, is that we've got the integral of e to the 3x all over 1 plus e to the x. And in place of this dx, we're changing it to dx du, which is now 1 over e of x, and then du. All right. Now we'll say that some of you might do this a slightly different way. You might have been taught to just make dx the subject. Now if you did do that, okay, you'd still do this differential, but then you could rearrange this, okay? You could rearrange it to make dx the subject by kind of multiplying both sides by du. Technically that's not really right, but if you did, you'd end up with 1 over e of x du, alright? I wouldn't personally encourage that, but there you go. Um, I tend to call this dirty maths, all right? But dx, 1 over ex, du. And if you were to substitute that into there, you'd end up with this anyway, okay? So, I'm going to rub that out, actually, because I hate that kind of system. So, we'll just take that out, okay? And we're back to that. Now then, okay, so we need to change this all in terms of u. So, how are we going to do that? Well, we're okay with the denominator here, 1 plus c of x, that's going to be a u. So we can put that in, okay, for starters. Let's put that in as u. But what about this e to the 3x and the e to the x? Well, what you could do is you could cancel one of these e to the x's out, and it goes into this one. If we subtract the powers, it goes e to the 2x, okay? 3x take away the x, e to the 2x, okay? Now, <coughs> excuse me, e to the 2x, how can we look at e to the 2x? Well, that's e to the x all squared, okay? So if we make e to the x the subject from here, you can see that e to the x will equal u minus 1. So e to the 2x, which is really e to the x all squared, is going to be u minus 1 all squared. And then put the du on the end and we've achieved our aim first of all. That was to change the variable. We've changed the integral which was a function of x. We're integrating with respect to x. We've got it now as a function of u and we're integrating it with respect to u. 
Okay, so how do we integrate something like this? Well, first of all, what we've got to do is expand the bracket. So if we expand the bracket in the usual way, what we're going to get is the integral of u squared. Then you'd have minus u minus another u, so that's minus 2u. And then if we square the minus 1, plus 1. And that's all over the u. So it's all over u, but what we could do is think of this as putting each term over u. It's the same thing, okay? So if I do that, I'm going to take this line out because I'm going to try and get this all to fit in in this one screen. So what we're going to have then is each term over a u, okay? So what we'll do is put that over u, put that over u, and put that over u. Now we've got three terms now, so you should put that in brackets, all right? And we can simplify this, all right? So u squared over u, well, that's going to be simply u. Then we've got minus 2, and then 1 over u. Well, I'm going to leave that. You could write it as u to the minus 1, but I often find that people forget what's coming, okay? So I'm just going to leave it like that, 1 over u. Now, each of these three terms, we can integrate. You should know what the integrals of each of them are. Okay, so let's start integrating. The integral of u, then, we know is going to be u squared over 2. Just simply add 1 to the power, divide by the u power. Integral of a constant, minus 2 in this case, is going to be minus 2u. And now the integral of 1 over u is the natural log of u. Too often I find people writing u to the minus 1 here, which is correct, but then trying to add 1 to the power and dividing by the new power. And it just doesn't work, okay? Because you end up trying to divide by 0. So that's why I favor just leaving it as 1 over u. So that's the natural log of u. And don't forget to put that in mod signs, okay? And then we've got plus a constant of integration. So all we've got to do now is substitute back for u and if we do that we've got u is the 1 plus e x okay e to the power x so we've got 1 plus e to the power x all squared over 2 okay then we've got minus 2u so that's minus 2 times 1 plus e to the x and then plus the natural log of u now, I've got that in mod signs, just so in case we had a negative value here. But e to the x is always positive. And if you have 1, it's always positive. So you don't really need the mod signs anymore. So you could just write 1 plus e to the x. Okay? And again, we've got that constant of integration. Now, we were asked to get it in a particular format. So um, what we need to do, it's not in that format at the moment, what we need to do is expand all these brackets and just clean this up. Okay, So if we expand this bracket and again, well, we're going to divide by 2 at the end. Okay, Or times by a half, that would be better to think of it like that. Half multiplied by, now expanding this bracket, you're going to get 1. You're going to get e to the x and another e to the x. So you've got plus 2e e to the x. And then you've got e to the x all squared, okay, which is e to the 2x, so plus e to the 2x. Expand out this bracket, you've got minus 2, oops, I forgot to close that bracket. Anyway, expand this bracket, you've got minus 2, and then minus 2 e to the x, and then the log term, natural log of 1 plus e to the x on the end here, and then plus c. Multiply this bracket out, and you've got half, and then you've got e to the x, and then you've got plus half e to the 2x, and then minus 2, minus 2 e to the x, plus that natural log of 1 plus e to the x, plus a constant. Okay, so, running out of room here actually. One more line to go just to gather these terms up. And if you 
gather up the e to the 2x terms. First of all, we've only got one of them, so what we've got then is equal to half e to the 2x. So just squeeze that in there, half e to the 2x. And then we've got e to the x minus 2e to the x, that's going to be minus e to the x. You've got your natural log term there, so plus the natural log of 1 plus e to the power x. And then you've got the half minus 2, so that's minus 3 over 2. And then you've got your constant of integration, so minus 3 over 2 and plus your constant integration c. Okay, so there you go. That brings us to the end of this question.